Mr. Policeman pulled in behind there. I am open carrying, guys. We'll see what happens. A shade tree surgeon over about eight years to get that many subscribers or to get a hundred thousand subscribers I should say excuse me so you know it's I don't give up too easy so uh, you know I just keep punching them out and yeah I'd like to see the channel get up you know a thousand you know subscribers would be nice that's my next goal so then he asked well, where do you see the channel going? And I was like, I really didn't have an answer. And he pointed out something. He said, you got to treat it like a business. You have, you have to have a business plan. All right. And I realized I really ain't got much of a plan for the channel. Other than doing motovlogs and fishing and range days and stuff like that. But I ain't got no set plan, and I think that's kind of okay with me. But I see where he's coming from. You know, I got goals. You know, I got that, uh, my next goal is a thousand subscribers, you know. But uh, as far as a set plan for the channel, I just, I ain't got one. So I'm glad, you know, that he, uh, he asked that question, where do I see the channel going? Because it, it actually stumped me. And uh, so now it's got me thinking. Now I got the wheels a turning. So, uh, and I still don't know right now. But it was a good thing. That was a good deal right there. So I appreciated his questions, man. 
like I said, he wasn't doing it to downgrade the channel or anything like that. He's just generally curious. But why do I put out so much effort and there ain't a lot of people that, you know, are subscribed or, you know. Actually, we do get quite a few views. I mean, we do get quite a few views. We just don't have a lot of subscribers. So if you're watching this now, man, go down there and click on subscribe. It's free. It won't cost you a dime. And when you click on subscribe, that little bell will show up. You click on it, click all. And you get notifications for all the videos we put up. And be sure, definitely leave us a thumbs up because YouTube doesn't like us. And they throttle us back and the thumbs ups actually help us get out there where people can see us. So on to the other subject of why I'm stuck at my job. Uh, last video I was contemplating switching jobs and I actually still am kind of but I'm kind of stuck at the moment because if a lot of y'all that watched the videos before I've had some teeth problems and last Saturday they went in to pull the rest of the teeth on this side pulled the ones on the bottom and then uh, figured out that the ones on the top the roots have actually grown up into my sinus cavity. So uh, now I have to get, go see a surgeon. I had to have sur oral surgery to get those, those, the top ones taken out, which would cost me another bazillion dollars. You know, people bitch about medical care as far as an MD. Like, I'm a diabetic, and uh, I go see my doctor four times a year. Four times a year, they run all kinds of tests all kind of tests and you know it don't cost me a fraction out of pocket what my teeth have cost me I mean nowhere near it holy cow it's been expensive I mean I could go for what I paid out of pocket for this dental work and I'm gonna have to pay more because now I gotta see a surgeon I could go see my doctor for like four years, I kid you not, for what I normally pay out of my pocket for my doctor. So that's insane. But anyway, so now I have to have surgery, so I'm stuck. I have to keep my insurance is what I'm saying. So I'm stuck at my job. There ain't, there ain't much I can do about it right now. Because if I switch jobs, you know, the insurance, all that crap, just goes to heck. From what he said is uh, if I don't get it done soon obviously it can start causing me sinus problems and it's like he pushed the button because the uh, the very next day fucker started hurting all the way up into my eyeball Ugh, it still hurts a little bit today it ain't been too bad but I've choked down enough Tylenol and ibuprofen to take care of the problem That's why I'm stuck where I'm at. I'll continue to do it for a while. So either that or when I win the lottery. I wanted to say. Boy, I had heck getting, this, getting out the ride today. I got up this morning and decided to do an oil change. I ordered an oil filter off of Amazon. Now, I've ordered an oil filter off of Amazon before, so all I did was click reorder. Well, the, uh, I'll tell you in a minute. So I go to chain my oil. I drain my oil out. And then the filter that's on there is on there. It's a K&M filter. It's got the nut on the end of it. So I'm sitting there wrenching on this nut trying to get this oil filter to break loose. And the nut breaks off. So he's well, just grabbing you know, an oil filter wrench. Well, you're talking about six inches of space and hardly no space up in the in the frame where the oil filter is. So I ended up having to go buy a smaller oil filter wrench so I can get up underneath the bike with the, you know, the what, six or seven inches of clearance there and it's able to get it around and it barely got, I mean, I mean, I eked it, eek, it moved that much. Eek, it moved just a little more, eek. And it took forever to break that fucking oil filter loose. But I finally broke it loose. So now, time for the new oil filter. I grabbed the new oil filter that I ordered off of Amazon. And 
a fucker doesn't fit. Wrong oil filter. Somebody pulled the wrong product part. I'm like, man, I want to go riding. Now I can't go riding. So I called up our local Harley Davidson dealer. Good old horny toad Harley Davidson. That's right. Our local Harley Davidson dealer name is Horny Toad Harley Davidson. And they had one oil filter for a night rod special. An 09 night rod special like nine. So I hauled ass up there and grabbed it. So see me riding. We're good to go. Nice good oil change. And uh, new oil filter. Motorcycle. Mr. Policeman pulled in behind me. I am open carrying, guys. We'll see what happens. Needless to say, I ain't going to be punching it. <laughs> and he turned. Alright, never mind. Oh, another question that he asked. I can hope I get caught by a light so I can show you. That the co-worker, you know, the question that the co-worker asked. So, uh, oh, well, I can stop long enough to do this. So the other question he asked, he said he noticed in the last video, me doing this a lot, kind of thing. And like I said, I am a diabetic, and I do suffer from what is known as extremity pains, all right? Uh, sometimes it's my foot, but mostly it's my hands, especially my right hand. And you don't see it on the video because my hand, usually I'm up here and I'm stretching my fingers almost constantly. Stretching my hands out almost constantly. And that day I was doing that video, my hands were bothering me pretty good. So that's why I was doing like the mad scientist rub with my hands. It sure is nice. Like I said, it's 81 degrees, but because of the cloud cover, it just... Ooh, it's perfect, man. It is flat out perfect. And when you, oh, I see a motorcycle. I see me a motorcycle. I got a ticket. Now I am on speed. <laughs> yeah, he ain't turning around. Okay. <laughs> I was spinning my tires like crazy. Hey, doggy. Yeah, the cops have common sense, man. They, they, you know, you gotta, you, they know you gotta have a little fun. We're all right. Just answered a couple of questions. Uh, you know why I'm stuck at my job, why I do YouTube videos. Yee doggy. You know, you know, just answering some questions. So, I know you heard it before. You've heard it a hundred times. Please leave us a, you know, click on that thumbs up for us. Uh, subscribe. Hit that notification bell or you click on all so the notifications come up. And this person hit their brakes hard with the pickup next to me. Spin it! There we go, spin it! Be sure to go down and read more, click on that. You'll find links to our Instagram, Facebook, uh, links to uh, like Shade Tree Service Channel. My favorite uh, Second Amendment channels, our cameras we use, our helmets we use, all kind of little neat things. The, the undercover shirts that I wear underneath my shirts to conceal my backup weapon, etc., uh, etc. Et Go check that out. And you know how it goes. If you have served, or if you're currently serving in our nation's military, if you're a firefighter. EMS, first responder, 
especially law enforcement, we appreciate everything you do for us and the sacrifices you and your families have made. Ladies, flash a stranger today. Boom.